Hi everyone, Tammy Gavea here at Day of Days with Miss Camila Banus. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. I think first off the top of my brain is who's running Gabby Chic while you're creating <laughs> mayhem in Salem? I've got my minions. Yeah. You know, now that I'm a Demera, I've got <laughs> Demera minions doing everything for me, like laundry. DMs. <laughs> yes, answering like emails, <laughs> coffee. Um, no, yeah, I, I definitely think they've thrown it off to some some Demera person employee or something. Well, you know, because we do designer day segment on the show, I want to get into the store. I want to get into Gabby Chic. I'm thinking about possibly having some projects. I've heard a couple of the fans talk about Gabby Chic, and some of them are even like, "Is this a Gabby Chic outfit?" Just so you know, this is a Gabby outfit. It will be airing in two months. Fantastic. But it is not a Gabby Chic outfit, but you've been giving me some good ideas. So maybe something in, in the horizon will be opening its doors for Gabby Chic. Do you ever think of starting your own line? Yes, yes. I have. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. So maybe. <laughs> what kind of inspiration? Like what's, um, your, what's your jam? What's your vibe? I think I think definitely something accessible, but something stylish, because that's that's definitely what I think Gabby's world would would encompass. The woman that travels in or shops in the Horton Town Square, but still has to get things done. <laughs> yes, yes. The, the woman of wearing many hats, yes. which is every every one of us. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. I would love for you to talk about the Latina representation mm -hmm, on yeah. television and film what your personal experience has been, pros and cons, mm -hmm. and what you'd like to see happen yeah. going forward. Um, well, first of all, I want, to, um, I want to say thank you to NBC for letting a Latina like me be Gabby Hernandez for nine years because that is, uh, is, is big enough in itself. I think when you have a character that is of a, certain, of a different color and, and then they, they're respected enough to give been given good storylines and to be you know featured that that means something and it says something to to that community and for me it makes me super proud like i've said it before to be this little little cuban girl from miami i grew up behind a bakery you know and and i'm here working with these iconic people on this iconic show that i didn't even know about until i got on it because my world was so small um, in my latin life and so for me to get exposed to that, for me to expose myself to the people in that community was super exciting. Um, I wish, of course, that I could have more people, more Latin people, more ethnic people um, in, in our show just because I think it would be a good representation of our world and, um, and just of the uh, amazingly different types of people that they are, and not just ethnicities, but different types of people in general. You know, you have people with special needs or people that don't necessarily get spoken about on these television shows. So I think shows that, that do, um, that push into incorporating everybody and diversity is really important. I will say the con, the cons that I have felt have has been actually from the Latin community. Interesting. Yeah. Um, I don't necessarily feel like I have been celebrated from the Latin community like I should be because I've been portraying a Latin character for almost a decade on a, on, a, on a network show and you know I don't get invited to the Imogen Awards or the Alma Awards or no one ever talks about me in that aspect so it is it is a little bit it hurtful because it feels like it's a very small community of Latinos that are just helping themselves and I don't get to be part of that but I don't care because I'm doing my part and I feel like I know who I am and what I stand for and, and representing Gabby and you know, she's Mexican, representing Mexicans and Latinos for me is, is very important. And that's all I would care about. But it is hurt. Yeah, well, I was just going to say, you know, feeling that exclusion within your own community shocks me. I've submitted to these events and they have not been forthcoming. So that's, it's a very clear response when you don't want to incorporate somebody or involve somebody in the community that they should be in. So how does that change? You know, I think I, I think it comes from the organizers. It's very um, what's the op? op <laughs> it's not incestuous, but it's it's just in in, in, it's, in very, yeah. it's it's about their people, and it's hard to be one of their people. I try to be friendly with a lot of people up in in, in really big rooms that are Latin, and and it's hard. You know, you you get 
into the room you get into, you meet the people that you do, and hopefully you, you, you hope that one of them opens a door for you because maybe they've seen, they've been through the struggle, they understand what it's like, but that hasn't been the case for me. So I've, I've done everything I've done without knowing anybody. I have no friends in the industry. <laughs> I don't know anybody that could get me an audition or an agent or a manager or anything like that. So for me, it was really hard, but all the better because I can say I did it on my own. Absolutely. So I I'm super happy about that. And too, you have the support. I mean, the show that you work on, you, you come from such an incredible support system. So that's always something to fall back on when you're frustrated or just want to get things done and you're finding those roads. Cast and crew. Cast, thank you for acknowledging the crew. Cast and crew Absolutely. because the days that we're there and I don't have anybody to talk to, it's not just the cast. It's 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 some of these crew members, not some of them, all of it, but some of these cameramen, boom operators have become my uncles, my dads. They care about me as if I was one of their kids. You know, just the other day, it's like, cover up, you better cover up, girl. I'm like, oh my God, stop. <laughs> But I love them like that. And I see pieces of my dad and all of them. And I love that. Before we get the let's rap cue, there's a little game. When you were on the show, Audition Days, okay. recently we did the Days in Espanol oh, see? moment. Right, oh right? So there's um, oh a video. I want you to translate this. OK, let's see. <laughs> Don't play it again. Oh, no, I got it. You got it. I remember it. <laughs> Days in Espanol. Si no dejas a Eli en esa boda, voy a matar a Julie. That Mic was, drop. That, that was that was the <laughs> Latino version. So okay. thank you so much. <laughs> You're we welcome. love you. I promise I won't splatter anybody's heart. Okay. I promise. I promise. <laughs> <laughs>